Hi guys, I'm starting a vlog from this viewing platform. I've passed this viewing platform several times, but I actually haven't been up there. So I'm gonna see the uh, view from the top. And first of all, I should walk all the way up. Let's challenge it together. So many stairs. Some of you may know I'm not a fan of stairs, so I'm always I'm always so scared of stairs um, because I imagine I'm gonna fall. But this one I think I can do it because it's less steep. So where I want to go up is that platform. Okay, let's challenge it together. I'm already seeing those beautiful Tallinn medieval buildings. Actually, I actually should be a bit careful because I gotta see, you know, what I'm stepping on. Oh, it's so nice! And finally. Blue sky is with me. It's starting to come out. Looks really good. We are already up here. I almost made it, guys. Ooh, I can already see a bunch of people already looking at this beautiful view of Tallinn look the view of Tallinn from here is just incredible you must come here to see this amazing view of Tallinn um, you know what I found really really beautiful it's the contrast of the buildings and the blue sky today I'm lucky to have this blue sky because it started a little bit gray but then um, Sun a little bit came out, so I get to see this beautiful view of Tallinn. If there is anyone who doesn't know me much, I'm actually from South Korea, and um, Europe cities like Venice, London, uh, Barcelona, those cities are really well known in South Korea. But I feel like Tallinn is a little bit unknown but very underrated so um, I'll definitely recommend all my friends to visit Tallinn and uh, you guys can help me too by sharing this video I could not help stopping this cafe it's so pretty um, there is a, a Christmas tree welcoming me and also there is a carol going on and inside it looks so cozy I have to check this one out as a cafe lover because it looks so cozy and beautiful probably it's gonna be very overpriced but I don't care because I want to feel Christmas This is like my dream came true. I really wanted to be in Europe or in North America during Christmas time. I grew up by watching Home Alone and it just always looked lovely, you know, with the Christmas trees and just lovely houses and with, with snow. It's just, I've never experienced things like that beforehand. Um, because, you know, as I said, my background is South Korea, so um, we have a really nice snow sometimes during the Christmas time, but it's not really the family thing. Christmas tradition is more for couples. I feel so lucky and grateful being here during this Christmas time. Um, this cafe is perfect. Guys, we've done it again. We're having coffee, we just can't help our souls. It's just, we cannot start the day without it. It's just impossible. Um, it's just, it's too addictive. I don't know about you guys, but do you find coffee like really addictive? Because I find like, it's not, I can never just have coffee and like it and just 
have it a little bit every now and again. I've got to either go all out and just love my coffee and just have it as many times as possible during the day, or I've got to go completely cold turkey and not have coffee at all. But for me personally, once I start having it, I just have to have like five at least a day and just I get addicted more and more and it just spins out of control until I stop myself for a year and have nothing and then I come back to it again and I do the same again. I never learn. This cafe kind of makes me feel like I'm in a cave or something. It's like with the rock adorning the walls. It's like the exposed rock. It's really cool, really unique. Very unique cafe. We're gonna have lunch in a donut place. Yesterday, Nick found out this random place um, and we thought, oh, this is the perfect chip it for lunch. So we're gonna have lunch first. And um, uh, in terms of this cafe, there was a couple behind me and uh, a guy, uh, probably they're probably mid 40s or something like that. And sometimes I feel intense stares and he was giving that to me a lot. Me too. I sometimes look at people, but then I know I feel a bit weird to look at them more than three seconds, three seconds, but he was like looking at me like this, like that. <laughs> and I was like, what should I do? Do you find it offensive or do you find it weird, nice? What's your thoughts? Because I feel kind of both, but at the same time, oh, maybe they are just curious of foreigners. That, that's, I'm trying to convince myself, but I don't know, what's the intention? <laughs> Boring right now, oh god, but you know my feet. Oh no. Oh my god. And, uh, and I had to take off my stuff in a cafe. I don't want to be too much like a bug on the butt, you know. I couldn't hide that because it was too cold, so I really want the socks from there. Oh, the socks. Oh, the socks over there. I really want them right now, but probably they will be like a 10 euros per, per pay and I cannot afford it. Unfortunately, this is my life at the yeah. moment. This is the life of a travel YouTuber. <laughs> Can't afford socks. <laughs> Can't afford it. It's not in the budget. Not in the budget. You gotta suck it up. Cold socks. Oh, co cold a bit. You know, we, we always tell you Tallinn is a fairy tale world and look at like the people here, they kind of dress up as all the people. Look. Oh yeah, the medieval. It was like constant rain, like it was like... But it's kind of funny to imagine that those people come to work with a medieval costume every day and that's their job. Um, pretty pretty funny pretty incredible it's so hard to be a travel youtuber when it's raining but the funny thing is is that there's nothing you really can do about it because you, you can't just wait for the next day because sometimes there is no next day in this city so we've only got a limited amount of time so rain hail snow whatever kind of weather it is we're going to be filming in it so oh, that's not good that's no good disaster and the other thing is gloves because we can't um, well, these gloves are too thick to use for the camera, so I'm constantly taking them on, off, I'm definitely going to lose them. And just, it's very challenging trying to film with the stabilizer and everything, the whole little kit that we've got here, um, in the rain. We are ready to go to the donut place. I found that trams here in Tallinn is very strange because not, I'm not about the, the look or inside, it's fantastic actually inside but you know the tram stops and the, the, the place there where you get on the trams they're very far, very distant like you, I kind of feel like um, any car will go past but obviously there's a rule probably like a Melbourne you can't really um, drive a car when tra trams are stopping but it's kind of weird that there's a big big distance don't you think yeah it's a bit a bit odd it's a bit weird yeah. so we've walked through the rain to get here it's quite a journey 
all for donuts because donuts are so important and we've never tried Estonian donuts and apparently this place has the best donuts in Estonia full stop so we have to try it it's a very local place we found it time to try it I'm so excited for these donuts they look so yummy <laughs> We really found our cheap eat today. This is only 172. 172 euro and they're big and they look really yummy. Homemade Estonian donuts. They look so homemade. Look at that. <laughs> look at this, baby. You look good. Thank you. Mm. Um, I'll put this down. And it's time to try the donut. What I've been waiting for all day, the moment has arrived. There's four here, and this one's a really big one, so I'm gonna grab that one. That's fine. Sorry, Ray. Mm -hmm. Look at that, it's got nice yummy icing on it. It's really hot. Mm. Mm. It's really yummy. Such a yummy, fluffy donut. Look at the inside. Oh. It's so yummy, Rachel. You have to try it. Mm. Rachel's turn. Looks like a fried donuts. It's mm. not a baked one. Mm. Uh, wait, do you bake donuts? Actually, it's always a fried, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, there must be baked donuts. I'm a bit confused. Anyway. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Yummy. Would have been perfect with um, Americano or Long Black, but can't get everything, you know. Mm. And I think Americans dip their donuts, don't they? Mm? I think they dunk their donuts, mm. apparently, in their coffee. So good. I love it. But you know, mm. this place is so local. Like, you can see that everyone comes in here, they're all Estonians. Mm. I mean, I can't tell by look. <laughs> But definitely they seem more local and um prices here is amazing. We have we, we are having donuts but um there are other things like sandwiches they're a bit like less than three euros or soups they are also two euros twenty or something like that. Definitely good for cheap eats. Mm. At the moment I'm enjoying my donuts. <laughs> so the verdict for the donuts is I absolutely love them and I was wondering where have I tasted that flavor before and it hit me it tastes so much like a Chilean dessert called calzones rotos where it's literally fried dough with icing sugar so it's very similar ingredients and it's quite it was so greasy that was the greasiest donut I've ever had in a good way so yummy and yes it tastes like calzones rotos Interesting. So it's 170 for four of them. Yeah, it was 170 for four of them. So cheap. It's paid by actually weight. So it doesn't matter how many donuts you put on there. It's more about how heavy all the donuts are. So it's paid by weight, and it was really, really cheap. This is our stabilizer bag. This bag was given by our beautiful friend Tiffany, and I wanted to keep it good, but today oh, it rained. It actually was pouring today and it made my bag just... That's the result. <laughs> Soaking! I can't step on anything right now because I'm gonna make a mess. So I just kind of I got trapped here. You're trapped. Look, you keep wrecking the floors. No, 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 no. Oh! So... Oh! So I can't... I can't do anything right now. Probably people think, Rachel, why did you wear 80s style pants? Well, first of 80s, all... 80s, 70s. 70s, sorry. <laughs> first of all, I like fashion. Second of all, I didn't think it's gonna rain that much. But today, it's just... It went all the way to the knee. It's crazy. Seeped up. Yeah. Oh, so stupid. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, more Italian videos come up. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Bye. The vlog's done. It's over. I'm just chilling out here now with Wally.
Have you seen Wally before? He's a Warclaw though. Yeah, his nickname is Warclaw, but it's Wally, actually. He's a wombat. 